Queen's Gambit declined, orthodox, Rubenstein variation. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. White played a bit better than Black in the opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. The pawn push on d5 is ready with e6, and the bishop on the dark squares can advance. The dark squared bishop can grow because d4 takes up room in the middle. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Nf6 defends the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. Bg5 develops the bishop and pins the knight on f6 the knight cannot move without losing the queen. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center and defends the knight on f6. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. B7 develops the bishop toward the center, breaks the pin on the f6 knight and prepares to castle. Nf3 controls the e5 square and advances the knight toward the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This exchange is fair. Backs off. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is the final book action. It's alright. That's good. This squanders a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a bishop by placing it on the long diagonal. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is ideal. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This avoids the bishop's check. It's compelled. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This misses a chance to build a queen beyond of its initial square. It is incorrect. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. That's good. This misses a chance to grow a queen outside of its initial square. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is quite good. Backs off. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It's compelled. This puts pressure on the pinned knight by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. That knight will get material if captured. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Takes back. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This threatens to play checkmate. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 